Hi everyone, it's Julia from Farewell My Manicure. You know, one of the easiest and most cost effective things that you can do to get you and your family in on the sustainability bandwagon is to get yourself a worm farm. We all create a lot of waste in our kitchens and this way we can recycle the waste to become something amazing that we can use on our gardens. It's easy to get started. What you need is to get a container to put on your kitchen bench like this one here and anything that you produce that's food or uh, fruit or vegetable waste goes into the container. It can stay on the bench for a week. Doesn't matter if it gets mouldy or yucky because it's already starting to break down and the worms will really enjoy that. So this is our worm farm. We keep it in a shady area in our garden because the worms, even though they will withstand amazing differences in temperature, um, we don't want them to dry out. So we keep it in the shade of this palm tree. This one came from Bunnings. You can make your own. My sister made one from broccoli boxes, but unfortunately a rat got in and um, nibbled its way through the polystyrene and had a really nice dinner of all of her worms. These toughened plastic ones though, nothing can gain access apart from, you know, little bugs and um, ants and it's quite a community of things going on in here. Uh, so they're very tough and they're very sturdy and um, will last you an awfully long time. So what you do simply is you feed your scraps to your worms once a week and only feed them enough that they can handle. So if you notice that the food isn't being broken down um, quickly enough, then you need to put it off maybe to fortnightly feeding of your worms. Worm farm will come complete with everything that you need apart from the worms. So you will actually have to go and get them um, either from a supplier, a worm farm supplier, or you can get them at Bunnings as well. Also the worm blanket doesn't come with the kit. I simply made mine out of a 100% cotton bath mat that had some bleach stains in, on it and um, I just made sure that was wet and it covers my worms. Eventually they eat it up because they are voracious when it comes to eating and they produce this wonderful brown liquid full of nutrients that can go on your garden. It's called worm tea or worm pea. You have to actually water it down one is to ten um, but yeah, it's a uh, fantastic full of nutrients for your garden. I'll have a little look inside our worm farm to show you. We've got lots of worms teeming around in there. Obviously I fed them not so long ago. There's still some paper bags in there that haven't broken down. Some tea bags in there that haven't broken down. But they're slowly getting through it. Over the other side. There's only a couple of things that you have to remember with the worm farm. They're pretty easy to, to look after and keep control of. Two things that you can, well one thing that you can't feed them is citrus. So they no oranges, no lemons, no citrus peel. Um, they don't like it. Um, the other is that if it's very hot that you should pour five litres of cold water through the worm farm every so often if you notice that the temperature is really high. Um, and that things are starting to dry out in there. It's usually its own little unique moist environment, but if there's unseasonal weather, um, pour five litres of water through the, the um, over the top of the blanket, through the farm, leaving the tap turned on or open so that they don't drown, so the fluid comes out, and that will reinvigorate the worms, make them nice and moist again, and nice and happy. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just make sure that you keep feeding them. And if you do go away on holidays, that whoever's looking after your property does remember to feed the worms as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you go out and buy yourself a worm farm. It's something that the children can become involved in too. And it certainly saves a lot of um, your waste product going into the bin and into our landfill. So enjoy. I'll see you next video.